Hello guys, welcome to another podcast. I'm Sierra Ravas from product team of Geeks for Geeks and today we have a very special guest with us. Uh, her name is Twinkle Bajaj and she is a software engineer in Amazon. So without any further delay, let's welcome Twinkle to this webinar. Hi Sierra. Hi Twinkle. So how how's you? you? Uh, All good. Yeah, I'm also good. Thank you for asking. Thanks. So, can you please just brief about your introduction to our audience? Sure. So, uh, my name is Shrinkal Bajaj. I'm a 2020 graduate from Jalpaiguri Government Engineering College, Information Technology major, and uh, I'm currently working at Amazon. Great. So, Twinkle, uh, first of all, happy Women's Day. Yeah, same to you. So we have a few questions that we'll be moving ahead with. So starting with the first one, what inspired you to pursue a career in tech and how did you get started in the field? Okay, so uh, for this question of yours, I'm going to be uh, honest and tell you that there is not an inspirational story behind my journey. Maybe it was destined to happen and uh, which is why I landed up here. So back in school, we have this option after 10th that we need to opt for science or commerce stream. Uh, so there I took pure science, which means I had subjects like physics, chemistry, mathematics, and followed by biology. And I have always dreamt of becoming a doctor. Also, the one thing to note here is that uh, I had no one from my family, at least in the medical background, or at least in people whom I am in touch with. So okay. there was literally nobody to guide me in that field. And I had no cousins so in the science background as well. So everyone mm -hmm. is a CA in my home. So okay. whether you call nice. me a dare, yeah. So you call me a daredevil or the brainless one, I don't know. But <laughs> I opted for the science stream. So okay. no one to tell guide that that's the most important thing. But as in when I started my journey here and uh, after like in the 11th standard and 12th standard, I was studying biology. Then I started realizing that after my higher secondary, this particular domain or this particular field in the medical field would take around seven to eight years or minimum of that time after my higher yes. secondary, which, which I yes. could not afford at that point. That amount oh, of time yes. I could not afford. And uh, I didn't want to leave something midway. I, I wanted to complete my journey. So that, that is how I landed up here. It was like a U-turn from my medical field and then in the, entered the tech field. That was my thing. So like, uh, how was it? Like, did you enjoy that U-turn a lot or like? Of course, the there are things that are challenging at first, but then you have to struggle. Unless you do that, yes. there I think it's you true. don't get the benefits of it. That is so true. Yeah. All right. Moving ahead to our next question, which is, how do you recommend that women develop the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in tech? Uh, so uh, one thing that I have uh, realized being in this tech industry for uh, nearly 2.53 years now, that if you have a mindset that I have and this is the thing that I'm going to implement every day, if you have this kind of a mindset that study once and implement daily, then uh, this domain is not for you. In this, do this domain uh, demands everyday uh, upskilling or it requires an upgrade into yourself every day. Let's say you are working, you are a proficient in Java 7 today and then Java 8 comes up in the market. There is no choice True. for you but to learn it, to understand it. So basically to sustain here in this domain, you have to be technically sound, that is for sure. And you have to have a good hold on your basics. And then on top of it, you have to have a nature of upgrading yourself. That's very, very important. True. That is so true. All right. Uh, Twinkle, moving ahead to our next question. What resources would you recommend for women who are just starting out in the tech industry? Uh, so I believe that this question is not just specific to women. For anyone who is starting out in this journey, who is starting hmm. afresh in this domain, 
you hmm. have to have a sound knowledge on your basic data structure so when i say basics for me it started in the school itself in 9th and 10th we had computers and i was taught hmm. uh, the basics of java like we i had a okay. prior knowledge of uh, different kind of loops if else statements switch cases very basic programs like palindromes well, right. and agrams all those i had a sound knowledge of that but coming to uh, the resources and for anyone who is uh, not having an idea on these things there are ample amount of resources on youtube there is this entire series by saurav shukla which i also followed uh, on patterns mm. which is like very helpful to understand and brush up your skills on loops and there is an mm. an another channel by uh, raj take you forward where he has picked c++ as the programming language and he has taught uh, the basics of it like really well so there are ample options uh, for a person is getting started in this field and one of the like very useful options and a resource which is also freely available is also geeks for geeks geeks for geeks because, that is yes. the ultimate thing i mean it's always <laughs> there for you whether you are a yeah. beginner or an advanced never it's there for you no matter what yes uh, the articles are there if you want to understand jaise aapne bhi pehle bola that we need it you know the daily yeah. upskilling and everything so updated articles and then we have the courses so yeah of course yeah, yeah. Right. so moving ahead to our next question how can a woman build a strong professional network in tech and why is this important so uh, when it comes to networking it is very very important when i say important i mean it's super important your uh, networks can be an uh, excellent source for you to innovate new perspectives to innovate new ideas True. and can really help you in your role and hmm. uh, networking does not start at the moment when you join corporate that's the that's a bad notion that's a wrong notion yes, it starts sure. the moment you enter your college so sure. networking with your college seniors with your friends is as important as building connections on linkedin it's equally important sure. because uh, i believe that the type of uh, environment that you choose for yourself helps you to exchange information share ideas and you can literally talk to them on a daily basis on your aspirations and goals and you can gain new insights on things that like you might not have thought otherwise so that is very important and uh, so keeping a good connections with your seniors is important your alumni your friends your peers your colleagues everyone is important because they can help you in your career road map and i there is one more thing which i would like to add here is always try to create connections with people who are as enthusiastic as you are or either True. more than you because then there is a championship there is a healthy competition in you and the person on the opposite side and that drives you to do better so that is very important again yes true networking uh, is actually a very important phenomenon it helps you grow yeah. like you know yeah. you grow as an individual just by you know right. communicating only we think ki, uh, we are just communicating these are just uh -huh. our seniors but you never know when a, in, an important piece of information is shared with you and it is so important that you keep it for your life like you are continuously implementing it like it happens yes, that's true i totally yes. agree to that yes so moving ahead to our next question we have what advice do you have for women who are considering a career change to tech but are intimidated by the idea of starting over in a new field so uh, uh, starting into a new field or uh, putting a step forward in something that has that you have not done is always a challenge i myself have faced it i i, I did a very yes. big step of like changing my entire domain from medical to tech so every time i fumbled i still fumble and i feel demotivated and i feel that's a natural emotion and it's good because at least you're trying it makes sure that you're trying so just don't stop learning build good networks like we talked about it and celebrate your accomplishments even if the smallest one even if it's like very small for others but it's good for you it's big for you just go ahead celebrate it pat your back yourself and if required seek help from others your friends your seniors anyone in your contact seek help from them ask for feedback from them and if there is a negative feedback take it in a positive way take your criticism in a positive way then only you will be able to succeed in your domain so it's very yes. important healthy, yes healthy criticism is like yeah. yeah it is also a thing so true yeah yeah moving ahead we have how can women stay motivated and overcome any obstacles they may face when pursuing a career in tech 
staying motivated okay uh, i like i mentioned so uh, feeling that demotivation or you are not you're just trying you want to take a break that these emotions are totally fine if you don't feel like doing anything just take a small break but make sure you bounce back stronger that's equally important uh the time which you are taking to rejuvenate yourself or to energize yourself hmm. that shouldn't go in vain uh i also feel that this question is a li- little subjective because inspiration can for different people can come from different sources different for me yeah so for me my source of inspiration came from my tattoo which says you can and hmm. uh, uh it really helps me feel energized when i feel like i do, i am not able to do it or i'm not capable of doing it so it it it's a subjective question also uh, the one thing which i think that we do as human beings is mm-hmm. to compare ourselves with others which is which is somewhat good i believe so if you're comparing yourself with others there is always someone better than you you take inspiration sure. from them but don't confine your brain to become like them it's it's wrong True. so just do things that you like take inspiration from different sources go ahead take a break get recharged and then bounce back sure. that's the only thing so like for you staying motivated is taking regular breaks and yeah. like you know yeah people have this you know that uh, if they are continuously working they'll work till they burn out and they do not understand the importance of taking regular breaks so yeah it is a very important thing to stay motivated that yeah. is so true because if you feel burnt out no uh, you won't be able to sustain longer in this domain true hmm. so to sustain hmm. longer you have to take small breaks and do things that you like yeah exactly and comparing yourself is also like healthy com- like compare yourself in a healthy way and apart from that setting ideals is also one of the things you know when yeah. the way people if you have an ideal around you why not like why always the you know uh, the influencer like you are an influencer so like having ideas like you who are in the field who have succeeded and who have you know worked hard and have a similar story background so why not have such ideals in while connecting with them you know in social networks through social networks yeah yeah i mentioned it like idolizing someone is really good unless and mm. until you confine your brain to and you push yourself to be, become exactly like them if you if you are aiming to come mm. here at amazon because some xyz person you know is mm. there at amazon that's not good just do it because you want to do it achieve something for yourself don't push yourself in a comparative way in a comparison mm. field don't go in that field yeah you should not lose your originality so true yeah so true yes yeah. so moving ahead to our next question what are some of the most exciting opportunities available for women in tech today so uh, well this uh, coming to the opportunities there are ample amount of opportunities for women in this field there are dedicated contests organized for women only and they can participate and bag like really good offers i know mm-hmm. a few of them there is amazon wow program then the the thoughtworks organizes one of the participating challenges for just, which is like only confined to women i don't remember the name exactly then we have zs associates which has is asathon and rcgm has chi code so there are uh, a lot of opportunities and you just have to keep an eye on it and strike the iron when it's hot so it's that yeah true so like for everyone you know grabbing an opportunity is a very mandatory thing like you should know when there's an opportunity and you should grab it as soon as possible otherwise you know sometimes what happens we are in self doubt <laughs> and we happen to you know overpass that opportunity so yeah yeah and this would also come from networking if you have good networks they would mm-hmm. tell you and then yes. then this yes. is like a chain complete chain yes networking is one of the most prominent things one has to remember yeah right right so moving ahead to our next question how can women use their unique skills and perspectives to make a meaningful impact in the tech industry okay so uh, i believe that uh, women have this women can always bring a fresh approach and uh, they can offer unique perspectives to any of the challenges they have 
so uh, there are like girls who are doing literally very good in this uh, field and like creating an impact on real we have kirti purswani we have yogita sharma and we there are other girls as well who are doing quite good in this field so it's very important to be vocal you have to voice your thoughts put your opinions on table and then only your idea would become a challenge in real that needs to be implemented so just voice your thoughts and be vocal Right. So, moving ahead to our next question and final question. Finally, what is your vision for the future of women in tech, and how can we work together to make it a reality? So, uh, I believe that tech is a super growing industry, and there all there is always going to be a demand for it. Diversity, whereas still is, remains an issue in this industry. The ratio between girls and boys are like you know it's, it's not less. equal. Definitely, it's not oh. equal. Yeah. And uh, also, not to forget that girls have emerged really, really strong than before. So hmm. kudos to girls for that as well. Yes. And, yes. Uh, there is this one important thing that I want to highlight here is if you don't have a background, like I, I didn't have it. And also, if for people who don't know. Uh, Ada Lovelace. She was the first women programmer, yes. and she was the daughter of Lord Byron. So Lord Byron being a romantic poet. So just don't confine your brain and restrict yourself because you don't have that background. If you have the ability, if you have the interest, you will able you will be able to sail through it. And unless you jump into a pool, you never learn swimming, right? So it's that thing. If you have, if you have the interest, just go ahead, give it a try. Zada zada kya hoga? We will fail, right? But at least when uh, you are, when you reach your sixties and you are sitting in your balcony playing with your pet, sipping in a cup of coffee, you shouldn't have that regret. That regret yes. is the scariest thing. I didn't try. Yes, true. Yeah, I didn't try. That shouldn't be there. I, I. That's that's mm -hmm. my belief. That shouldn't be there. Yes. And so don't hold yourself. Yeah. Just try out new things if you are interested and see how things change for good. That's the only thing. That's so true. That is a very positive approach. Like you know that you just told right now to not have regrets. To not have regrets, you have to keep trying. You to not have regrets, you also have to know what you actually want. Tabi apko pata chalega how much you on what all things you wanna try. So yeah, that is yeah. a very positive approach at life. So. This was my last question to you, Twinkle. Thank you so much. This was an amazing session. I enjoyed a lot interacting with you. You are a very knowledgeable person again, and to meet okay. someone <laughs> in the tech industry who's as influential as you is a, a very, you know, grateful thing for me. No, I, I believe that I'm still trying. I'm still trying to be better than where I was. So it's not like that, and the, the feeling is like mutual. It was really good to interact with you, and it's always a great feeling to be a part of Geeks Weekly. So, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, Twinkle. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, hey, Geeks, this is it for today. Thank you for joining us, and stay connected for more more such amazing webinars where you get a. Uh, interactive and you get such knowledge related to tech industry and coding in general so thank you